Say it's all good, cause it's all good, hey. Say it's all good, cause it's all good, hey. Say it's all good, cause it's all good, hey. Say it's all good, cause it's all good, hey. Say it's all good, cause it's all good, hey. Say it's all good, cause it's all good, hey. Say it's all good, cause it's all good, hey. Say it's all good, cause it's all good, hey. Santa here, reporting live from your favorite place. You know that place where I smile in your face and I hit you with such amazing grace. Now I'm here, the one and only Marjorie. How are you? I, I'm, I'm just... in the building. Sorry, I caught her off guard. Me <laughs> inhaling shit. She's I in was the like, building. mid. <laughs> Sorry, I, she wasn't ready for that. It was a fast break assist right there. The holiday spirit is upon me. I'm feeling good. As you can see, I got my balls on. We, we slapping everywhere, baby. Jingle we have bells. Jingle, jingle bells. So you no see it. Bells. Got my elf, you know, white elf. Santa's black now. White person, white <laughs> I'm people. always Santa's helper. Yeah. I really am. I'm always Santa's we're helper. The, we're the dominant ones here, you know. Time to change it. But today we have a very special guest with us. The one. The only. I love this guy. Day one. If you've been with half of friends, you would know this guy. But if you haven't, familiarize yourself right now with the one, the only. Mark motherfucking Hammond. What's up, baby? Thank you. How Thank you, you feel, man? feel good. On the other side of the spectrum, baby. Always. Look at this motherfucker, <laughs> Always flipping man. the table. Look at this. The motherfucker used to be on the other side. He used to, he used to be the camera guy. Yep, yep. <laughs> he used to be Mark's world. Mark's world. Now he's, now he's the fucking guest, <laughs> man. Big time. Big time right Thank now, you, man. man. Thank you, man. Almost porn front, man, if you don't know. Also has his own fashion uh, line right now. Mark Hammond 2020. 2020 real punk's not dead that's an original piece you're looking at right now and an original hat as Thank well you. no the hat's not original that's a lie oh, wow. i can't claim the hat <laughs> I can't, you know i be i be doing i be trying to make my niggas look good sometimes <laughs> yeah, a little too much you know what i mean but you, you, and you can see it right now how yeah, you yeah. feeling though my brother happy holidays to you man I'm pretty you baked feel? man i don't know what you put in this weed man are you baked like a christmas cookie yes <laughs> i am the, i am the gingerbread man but yeah. the weed already caught me as fast as I can. Well, you know, we we just wanted to make sure you had some nice, nice uh, tree under your mistletoe. God damn, bro. You know what I mean? Enjoy yourself, baby. This is what it's all about. You know, ain't nothing changed. We still we still smoking the best of the best over here. You Always know out saying? here, man. Just making sure you feeling good. But how you been, my brother? What's going on in the world of Mark, man? What's, what's Things new, are good, man. man. Um, the line is going to officially launch in 2020. I've been doing like, you know, kind of like these test collections. And it's really going to come together. We're going to finally get like be better quality materials and just like bring it all together. The vision I had that for like the past like two, three years, I've been toying with the idea. And then I've been finally putting the website out and the clothing out. And now it's going to finally like hopefully turn into what I want it to be. But it's the steps. 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 Process, baby. Steps. Enjoying the journey along the way. Yep, yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're trying to get a music video off the ground for uh, Almost Porn. What, what single we talk about here? Time, bro. We time. gotta get the... Number one. We gotta oh get the... Number one. We, yeah, we did I a poll. Time. I, oh, I gotta believe. Get time. I, I wanted. Time. I wanted neck tattoo, but everyone was like, nah, bro, time. Oh, man. You know neck tattoo. It's time for time. You know? It's time for time. It's definitely time 2020. for time. It's 2020 time. time, time. <laughs> I sing time in my personal time. Oh, thank you, man. Seriously. Thank that's you, man. A, that's a, that's, that's a true dude, that's a, yeah. Right thank you, that's, man. Hey, we were sitting here the other day, me and her, and we were singing fucking time on, on everything I love. Thank you, man. Bar for bar. Time sings me to sleep. She knows my name. I love you, man. That's a beautiful song. Thank you, man. So if you haven't heard it, the Unplugged performance is exclusively out. The single is out. Ooh. Uh, it's everywhere. It's so everywhere, ain't man. no excuse. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you get your dose no of time. <laughs> By this porn, man. It's been out. Yeah. It's we, been out. It's, it's been time. out. It's been, and you caught me off guard with yeah. that because Mark was around and I didn't even know he was <laughs> fucking really a serious musician and all this shit. You it was like, no idea. No idea. He just come around, get high, laugh in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Drug me up sometimes, you know, hit me with the chloroform rag, and you know, I mean? fall asleep, he be gone. I wake up, and it's just me on laying on a futon and shit. Like, where the fuck everybody go? Good Mark's times, gone. good times. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if he fondled me or not, but my pants were a little Definitely lower did. than they were when Definitely I did. passed out. No, Wait, kidding. but you, so, so you worked with him all the time, and you had no idea? No idea. Okay, that's super interesting, because, like, you, like, you, you're, you're so talented. Thank you. you know? Thank like, you. I love, I love your music. Thank you. You're super creative, and... Like, I don't know, you know, usually when you see, like, 
you know someone who is a singer or something and yeah. has a band or they're like they're always like oh yeah my my band my band <laughs> that you've never heard before <laughs> or yeah, like my yeah. my my songs or this and that yeah but then like to have this person that you've worked with and not know that like that's really cool he was like, like humble Oh, yeah, exactly. That's, that's about about it. It. He yeah. was super. You know, I don't even know if he knew I did music at the at the same time as well. I didn't know not we, not we, in the very beginning, but I, I remember think later. You, you told me that you made the theme song, and then you were like, "Yeah, man, I used to like do a lot of stuff." And then you came out with like your song. Yeah. And then I I was like, "Dude, this dude does everything too." Shit, like yeah, this, so we kind that's of what both it's all kept about. That man. Yeah. We just like, we were, yeah. to, <laughs> we were focused on the show. Yeah. <laughs> We're focusing on the show. Not really here for your music, bro. I don't care about your mixtape, bro. <laughs> Take that, put it back in your your iPod. Take get that, this uh, goddamn life. Put that on Hollywood okay. Boulevard, bro. <laughs> yeah, but nah. But when can we expect an, another drop off of a of a single or something? Well, I mean, it's besides, it's it's coming down to the, the EP. Video. It's coming to the new EP. We got four songs in the bag, and we got two more coming. We're gonna have a little EP, our first EP, and then from there we're gonna do an album. That's okay. like the next step. Okay. So there'll be singles along the way, but next should be the EP early 2020. Early 2020? Yes. Along with this music video, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. That's I'm what I'm so talking about. We, we, the music we, video is really We need the at. visual, but I'll, me personally, I need more content. Baby. Content, yes. Because I, I don't ran through what's out there, you know? <laughs> yeah. Now, 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 now the viewers, some of you viewers may have to catch up, but <laughs> some for of you us, who, us up. who've been around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The true fans. Yeah, no, we, yeah, you we need those it. clean recorded tracks, man. Oh, take your time. Take your time. Yeah, when yeah. it feel right to you, do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's a process. Exactly. It's crazy. I, I like how um, hip-hop is big on the scene because it's so uh, accessible, you know? You could just like get your computer going, and if you know what you're doing, you can make some good shit. But like when you're in a band, you have to rely on other people, and you got to move with in their schedule and with mm-hmm. everyone's schedule and yeah. it's it's a process it is it's a real process it's like but a, it's worth it man it's like it's like magic when you're all in the same room yeah okay sorry so what you're saying right now is so beautiful because like when i listen to your song time you yeah know, like i think about that like almost daily now because i'm like i'm always thinking okay like there's always there's so much time left to do so many things, but like you're always like trying to rush things sometimes, and oh, I'm just like tell yeah. her, she does keep me up. You're so right, <laughs> me so up, right. <laughs> It's facts, man. Real, Thank you, man. Real fucking content right there, man. I try to get poetic with it, and then I remember we're coming with the, trying to come up with the title and trying to be poetic with it, and then I was like, nah, it's about time. Just call it time. Mm-hmm. I just I gave up on the title, really. <laughs> that was <laughs> but dope. it came, yeah. That was genius, though. But you know what's funny? Now that I've made that song, I've found artists that also have like a song called Time, and they're like becoming like my favorite from their. You know, like, I have a playlist, and it's, like, a good, like, 20 songs of just other artists that have a song called Time. Blink-182, Blind Melon. I'm just like, Jesus Christ, all these bands are, like... And I never heard that track before, you know? So it wasn't, like, oh, it was just, like, that subconscious where you, you know, like, create the same title as someone else kind of thing. And I was like, that's dope. Yeah, that's... Man, that's incredible, man. Put yourself in a box with those those incredible names right huh. there. Blind Melon, Blink-182. I came up listening to those bands <laughs> right there, man. And that's I, where it's I will say this, and mean it from the bottom of my balls, okay? I mean with, mean this when I say this, Uh-oh. dog. I will put your music with those, fuck that caliber Damn. of music, bro. Damn, thank you. I ain't saying that because you my dog. Yeah. I'm saying that because you actually making some damn good shit, bro. That's a big compliment coming Very from you, Very good Nick, man. fucking music. Round of applause for motherfucker. Almost oh. And, and goddamn Cheers. Tom, neck tattoo, everything they doing, almost unplugged, man, man. If you haven't heard their fucking music, check it out. That, that, make, hey, Christmas gift for me. That's all I want. <laughs> Go listen to Almost Porn. Just play their music. It's free. It's on SoundCloud. It's, you don't got no subscriptions. No subscriptions. Just click on it. It's out there. Click Enjoy it. it. They got a live album out as well of the live performances, so you can really embrace it. You can also embrace the high the plug gritty. performances, which are out as well. Which so. are also on SoundCloud. You know, just click on it. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Links, 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 Wait, links, no. you links. Swipe. <laughs> Quick. It's everywhere. It's Quick. like that fly. Quick. You just Quick. can't get Quick. it in your fucking face, you know? Notifications on. 
all that. I love it, man. Please check your fucking <laughs> art out, man. But you were doing your fucking thing. Thank you. But the most incredible part of all of it, I I believe, is the is the band name. Almost foreign. Almost born. Born. <laughs> Wow. Wow! That laugh, that laugh. He's like, "Hey, you that cynical ass laugh." Yeah, you don't know what I knew when I was watching. When I thought of that, you know, almost porn though. Where that, where that come from, man? Me, yeah, no. Raheem and I, we uh, we were getting high as it usually happens, and we were just like, "Dude, like, we want to make a band. I want to make music so good. It's almost porn, like." And then I was like, that's, you know, that's, that's, that's the title right there. Now what we got to do, you know, Aware of what, yeah, yeah. Then it, you know, then it just, I had songs that I was already goofing around. Like I had time already written, like just goofing around. Right. And then I was just like, fuck it. And it was kind of like, I wrote it on acoustic and I wanted it to be like this harder track. So I just amped up, you know, it used to be like flowing chords and then I just made it all uh, crunchier into power chords and made it sound like a, you know. Some punk rock, some punk sure. rock and roll. That shit, that shit. Was <laughs> that super, super gives me a. If I if if I gotta put it in a, I, I hate to try to categorize the music, but yeah. it gave me such a, a, a early nineties feel. Thank you. Late eighties feel. Yeah, the late eighties, like, early nineties. It was, it was it, not saying that. Oh, it belongs in that, or it's you're just taking from that. It, yeah. I'm saying that in the sense of it gave me that vibe. Yeah. Is that like, man, this is what we've been missing. Like, mm. damn, I miss music like this. You know what I mean? Damn. I miss this type of this yeah. type of rock. You know what I mean? This type of music and shit. So that was that was definitely fucking refreshing, man. Your shit's a breath of fresh air, man. Thank you, man. You got a hell of a voice too. Thank you. Pretty little voice, little birdie <laughs> over there. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't just do music, but he also is a fucking inspired fashion designer. You can't do one thing, man. You gotta. You can't. Many you, you, you cannot. You, do you have to one fill up all thing. your time, or you have too much time, right? Yeah. Yes. But but the fashion, man. What what inspires that, man? Like, who are some of your inspirations that made you want to get into the whole oh, fashion damn. side of things, man? Especially in the punk world. I think. I think my whole the whole vibe and what I was trying to get across with the band and the the design is this like I call it designer punk where you take like the mm. the the nice pristine you know look of designer and you kind of uh you break it you know and then it becomes punk rock you kind of like rip it up and shit like that like I like to make clothes that have like nice material but I want you to do your own to it like I have the DIY collection where I want you to like th- we have holes that you know tell you where to pin and where to cut but you can customize it however you want it's really what you want to do with it we give you the canvas and like we i want to encourage people to paint you know their own clothing so you give them motherfuckers not just clothing but an art project yeah. Yeah. as well some diy shit that they interactive own. clothing right there i love so that. then every p- person that owns it looks different you know that'd be cool yeah that's mm. really connected too yeah. like mm. people get really connected to their clothing and what they're making it very, very connected <coughs> Facts. I love that. I love that. It's very yeah, personal. I love that. Very personal. That's genius so, right there. Damn. I just always took that DIY vibe in whatever I did, you know? Yeah. So clothing, music, hi from friends. It's that DIY quality, you know? <laughs> you gotta believe some of the shit you see, man. This uh, guy's help influence, man. Great motherfucker, man. Great motherfucker, man. Gotta do it all, individual. man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Great individual. One more round of applause for Mark. Jeez, man. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Round of applause for Mark, Thank you. Man. God damn, boy. You're, you're a hell of a man, man. Mark, here's a question for you. Uh, you think men should wipe their pee hole after they pee? Yes. Depends what you're working with down there, you know? If you got, like, you know, uh, extra, extra skin, you know? <laughs> I just think so in general. I just think so in general. I don't know. I wasn't thinking that. I do. Deep. Well, I was just thinking in general. I wipe my pee. Personally, I think I think we should wipe our pee holes after we pee. Men, let's make that twenty twenty resolution. Twenty twenty. Wipe your pee hole. Your you woman will wipe. thank you. Oh yeah, for real. Like, think about it. You ever you ever not wipe your pee hole after you pee? <laughs> I'm sorry. I looked at, I looked at Granny like she knows this shit. She's like, like hell yeah. Yeah, you, <laughs> you ever wipe? Oh, you ever, oh my god. You ever went and had to go real bad at the movie and you go shaking, shaking. And then no, but seriously, yeah, you have a, shake does not work. It doesn't because you shaky, shaky, right? All but over. After you, after you drop it back in, like let's say I'm wearing a pair of great boxers, you know what I mean? 
I drop it back in. You looking like Mr. Leahy. I got there. a few splashes yeah. on my boxers. You know what I mean? I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, I've been staying here. I'm a clean person. I'm this a is clean not, person. This is I'm, not how. I don't want to walk around with the urine towel all day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be cleansed at all times. Especially if I'm 100%. with a young lady or something. You if know you, what I mean? If that was a bill, I'd sign. Hey, I think pee holes should be wiped. Wipe your you pee know, hole. wipe your pee hole, man. Don't nobody want stains on their shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your girl gonna thank you. Or whoever does your laundry, too. Exactly. They gonna thank you, too. They gonna thank you. <laughs> you know, because sometimes them stains they sit there for a while. They don't go. They don't leave, man. They don't go. <laughs> you, they think you done got caught jerking the turkey. You wasn't jerking the turkey. You. They think that's the splashes from the, you know, do the do. <laughs> but that's just you not wiping your pee hole. That's on you. Foul on the play. Wipe your pee holes, man. I'm sorry. I 2020 to get that wiping pee holes. 2020, we wiping pee holes. Different game. Niggas got class. If you wipe your ass, might as well wipe, <laughs> wipe your, your pee hole. Do women wipe out their AP? Yes. I think so. Oh, I would hope so. Definitely. I mean, I thought my mama did. I don't know. I don't know. Am I wrong? <laughs> There's women in the room now. Somebody tell me something. <laughs> Let me know if I'm wrong. I, She's like, no, we don't. I, oh, <laughs> hey. Are you dripping and not swimming? I mean, what are we, we, we doing here? What is, take care of the situation. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what's going down in 15 minutes. Facts. You don't know what's going down in 15 Those are, minutes. That's New Year's Eve tips right there. Wipe your pee hole. Wipe your pee hole. Take care of that. You, if you're going to take care of the back, make sure the front window clean too. Cause you gotta look out both. Facts. I gotta look out both. I'm a safe driver. It, you're all clean or you're not clean. Simple as that. Simple. At, at the beginning, I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> but now I'm, you know, I'm starting to think about what you're actually saying, yeah. and I'm like, "Because when, when you're young, they tell you just shake you're it. You're right. They tell you just shake it. They just don't just shake it." Mm-mm. You gotta wipe that. Mm-mm. They should be. They should have toilet paper next to the urinals. I hear my they mama don't. voice every time I finish peeing. Shake your ding ding. <laughs> shake your <laughs> ding ding. <laughs> I'm like, okay, God damn it. <laughs> Make sure I shake it up. Everything's gone. But you know, I noticed that wasn't enough. And then she's all like, "Why is there pee all over the seat?" You yeah. told me to shake I'm my, shaking ding my ding ding. ding. <laughs> when I shake my ding ding, the pee pee go fling fling. I gotta stop this ding ding. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> From me. Oh. I was literal bars about that. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what do you oh. want from me? Like, I'm trying to do what you're telling me to do, but as I've gotten older and I've been, you know, living in, you know, I analyze. I analyze everything. I analyze after I finish peeing. When I put my ding ding away. When he puts his ding ding. I check, I check. Yeah, I you look, should analyze everything. I say, wait a minute but now. You guys are realizing that, that looks like I went pee pee on myself. <laughs> like, that's, that's not a good look. That would have. <laughs> Dude, that's merch right there, bro. Wipe your pee hole. Wipe your pee hole. 2020. 2020. High from friends merch right there. We're cleaning it up. Wipe January, January, January collection. Wipe your pee hole. On God. You heard it right here first. January 2020. Wipe your pee hole merch coming soon. We want to see those on everybody, <laughs> everywhere. I want to see Represent it. Represent fellas. Let's go. Fellas, this is our time. Look at me. <laughs> this is our time. Let women know. We care. We care, too. You ain't the only one wiping your front side. We wipe our pee holes, too. We take care of business. We about that. <laughs> about that. About that at all times. And I hope you would agree. You guys are real men. These are real men. <laughs> you got to wipe. If they're wiping, they're... <laughs> all you they're need, real men. She gets real quiet. All you need is one sheet off of the tissue. Just the first square. You don't need a full the whole wrap. Just one square. Just one square. Just Unless it's one line. Then, just, then it's two. Huh? Right? Oh, you yeah, said, oh, she's got one she plot. She's trying to do it. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want the tips? <laughs> you now she's trying to tell me how to wipe my, my pee hole. Hole. Oh, you got to be whole too? <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. I'm hey, kidding. women, women got to be whole too. Why do you think I got one I have seen, no, shameless. You guys seen shameless? I have not. Okay, so. I love that shit. Right? She hurt. So, in the show, like, they'll have, like, a lot of scenes where, like, in the bathroom or whatever. And, like, the girls will just pull up their pants after they go to the bathroom. Like, oh, they God. won't, like, Great. nothing. None of them. Mm, yeah. Like, they don't Hollywood see, missing you know a I ball, mean? dropping it here. How many films but that's like, that's like But uh, that's, like, a thing with the show, though. Yeah, I feel yeah. like it is. I feel like it's just, like, it's like a... That's not good hygiene. No, it's not. Like, the I feel like they're trying to symbolize it's like, they're like a dysfunctional family, right? I don't want to bang that character. Yeah. <laughs> You've ruined my fantasy with this character now. I don't want to bang this character no more. Some people are into that, man. Thank you for calling that out. You right. Some people. So it's just are a new too. audience. New audience. I'm not gonna c- c- clown nobody going to shower things. Yeah, but you've seen like um, like 
Like the good place, right? They wipe. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's good. That's a good place. Did you? No, somebody was trying to get me to watch The Good Place recently. I was falling asleep on that shit. No, it wasn't you. It wasn't? No. I have said it. No. You did, but it was yeah. somebody. It was but it was someone else that actually got me to watch it. Right. Like, when yeah. you said it, it didn't really <laughs> stick. But this other person that like, you can't remember nah, right nah, now. No, no, no. It wasn't like yeah. that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Probably it's a female company. And, you know, I had yeah, to do what I had you, to do to watch but, uh, what I had to watch in order to get what it needed. It was like, you know what I mean? Like, it was so are we watching Good Place or are we watching Good Place? Oh, it was a good place as long as you got a good place <laughs> on there. I was like, the good I say, place. I say good times. I say good times. Good place, good times, God damn it. Oh, were you at good times? No, you um, you know about Good Times? Sorry. The uh, Black Show? It's a classic what? black sitcom. You know about Good Times? Yeah. You don't know about Good Times. Know about That's a... Uh, you don't know about Good Times, nigga. Isn't that... Isn't I want to know about that, Good Times. Isn't that, that when he's like... Dino Mike. Yeah. <laughs> you know about Good Times. Good times. <laughs> nigga did the JJ impression. He a real nigga. I like Good Times. Yeah, good times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dino Mike. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dino you know what I'm saying? While you was watching Cheers. Hey. Uh, <laughs> I was watching Frasier. <laughs> Frasier and Cheers and Everybody Loves Raymond. I was watching fucking Good Times, nigga. Sanford and Son, shit like that. 227. That's what I was watching. I know everything I'm saying just sound foreign in a motherfucker. Like, what is the he? Jefferson. Is this nigga naming numbers or TV shows, man? <laughs> He's naming home addresses? 227. 227. Who's building is that? You mean 90210? What were the top three shows that you watched when you were a kid? Back in the day? Yeah, yeah, top three. Top four. That my mama used to watch, the let's, classics. Let's go three. Let's the go classic three. sitcoms, Good Times, uh, Martin, and Martin. my fucking Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh, damn, okay. Mm. I gotta say Good Times just because that was like, I hate to, I don't wanna say that's what, that was like the depiction of black people and the black family back in that day, but it was some real nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? It was like niggas scratching and surviving. They said in the theme song, scratching and surviving. <laughs> good Times! <laughs> We ain't gonna go that was that so road, accurate, though. man. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it was it was real <laughs> shit. I respect that shit. You know what I mean? And damn, damn, damn. That shit is classic. You'll learn about it if you watch it. Go watch it. I will after this. <laughs> what was your favorite three? My favorite three? Okay. Um, George Lopez was my favorite. Oh, wow. Mm, yeah. New generation over here. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching that shit when I was in motherfucking high school. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, not like when I was a kid, kid, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is like, I'm just thinking, yeah, yeah. Um, I also really loved The Nanny. Oh, man, my mom used to love The Nanny. I loved The Nanny. Yeah. Yeah. The Nanny named Fran. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I like, I would, I would stay up so, I'd, I'd stay up for those shows. Yeah. You know they, uh, my, you know my, my past, my last lover, <laughs> she, she, uh, she put me on, they got a, a Russian version of that shit. Uh, Russian? Say, complete depiction of that shit. <laughs> Like, same show, but, you know, just... Just in Russian. Russian. Actually, yeah, I was like, this shit crazy. She was like, no, that's not it. I was like, no, that's the nanny. She was like, no, this is this. I was like, no, that's no, the no, nanny, no, no, no. nigga. Like, I was like, intro the same and everything. Nigga. Wow. I was like, nigga, like, wait, wait. that's the, the nanny. nanny. <laughs> I know the nanny, nigga, trust me. I know friend. That ain't friend, though, because friends say hi, not a douche. Nigga, like, what the fuck? No offense. But, you know, like, you just what, said. What was, it, what was it made? I guess late nineties, early two thousands. Yeah, they probably like just that. like they took like the hype of the nanny and yeah. created something for their, you know. It was just crazy audience. seeing like, something we do. We got Over redone, there. just remodeled. It's like oh, they do that. <laughs> like, oh shit! I had no idea. You know what I mean? Like I didn't know niggas could do that in other countries. That's crazy. What are, you, like what are the, your other tops? Huh? Yeah, we did get to what uh, oh. George Lopez and George uh, Lopez, the nanny, and then the I have nanny. another one, right? Um... Dun dun dun. This is coming to my mind. Foster's ultimate, Home for ultimate, Imaginary Ultimate friend. Steel Frame Material. That's not a sitcom. <laughs> Foster's oh, House of sitcom. Imaginary <laughs> Friends. <laughs> I just said... Did you say Foster's? Yeah. No. That's oh, a dope man. show, I though. I loved Foster's, bro. Foster's was that shit. That Who was, was the homie? That was, pre, that was pre-stoner shit right there. I was like, I knew I was destined to smoke weed. <laughs> I was like, yep. Yeah, I'm destined to go this route. Oh, That's my... Uh, okay. Oh. Go, 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 go. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> That was, that, was, that was my favorite motherfucker for the show. Bro. That nigga blue was no good. 
I love when she like talked slow, like you like knew that she was like she was like. Hur, hur, hur. <laughs> she had different tones yeah, yeah, to right. convey different emotions. <laughs> they're like, they're all like, I understand okay. this character. I love the character, the arch. <laughs> the character development's been great through the seasons. Love it. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Such growth in these characters. I love that shit, man. That was that was a classic, man. That was. You know, funny. one of my. I'm sorry. Let's get your favorite three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was about to go animation. Damn, I think it goes three. Three's company. Damn, that's too bad, dude. Mr. Furley. That nigga saying three's company. I ain't seen you call me with it. I had to let my ball fly around for that, <laughs> nigga. That was, that was unexpected. He, he pretended to be gay so he could live with two girls, man. That's the dream. That's hey, crazy. Hey. hey That's crazy. Dream. Motivation. Wow. When you, when, you know, I was watching that when I was like 10, you know? Yeah. When girls started looking cute, I was yeah. like, damn, so bro. You get some, you get some knowledge. Three's company, man. I'm like, yeah. Three's company. This nigga was, that nigga was always yeah. middle school. I am nigga. <laughs> Girl, I do not like that color on you. You should definitely go with the blue. It's more fitting for your body. <laughs> <laughs> she's totally comfortable with him because he's gay. <laughs> At least she thinks he is. <laughs> they Later in the seasons, they know that he's not gay, though, but they still have to keep it up to the landlord because he's all, like, weird about... He'd be, like, weird about it. Yeah, having a few... I guess that was, like, a thing back in the... You couldn't just room up with two girls, you know? Oh, oh. <laughs> Mr. Furley. Oh. That's some classic shit to go back and And then watch. I guess Roseanne, dude. Roseanne hit home. Oh, you racist bastard. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, kidding. man. Yeah. I don't know what she was doing towards I'm the end kidding, there, man. man. Smoking crack or some shit. But I don't know, man. Roseanne, I always dude, saw Roseanne. Dude, that show was my like, shit, bro. I always loved Roseanne, man. That shit was the most relatable, though. Shit was, man. For, you know, dude, not, they were not, broke. Not like, that, me, that show yeah. was not the Brady Bunch, bro. Like, yeah. You know, they had, like, financial troubles that and shit, arguments Roseanne and shit. was the white good times. Dude. There you go. Dude. Ah, <laughs> that hey, makes you so much that, sense. Roseanne, but your show was was monumental for the white culture and the struggle. <laughs> yeah, for real, it, dude. it highlighted that. I it's get like it now. It's like middle America shit right there, dude. I get it now. Roseanne's That's crazy. Shit, That's crazy. That's some real shit right there. Okay. We I'm going to go home and watch more right good here. times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got to go home I gotta and watch some Roseanne. Roseanne. <laughs> I remember some episodes, nigga. So I know you yeah, remember man. some. So it's crazy. Culture's connected right there. You just witnessed that live. Boom, nigga. And then third? Dude. Dude, have to be Seinfeld. Mm. Fucking Seinfeld. I mean, there was a little part of me that wanted to add Malcolm in the middle. But it's kind of, you know? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I literally but, just But that's like a different, different vibe, topic. you know? That's like that Modern Family vibe. It's not really like the sitcom vibe. I never... But that'd be my, that'd be my like... That's my third man. Sixth man, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Malcolm in the middle. I never got into that. Oh my gosh. I definitely got into that. Dude, Malcolm in the Middle? <laughs> so, okay, dude, Malcolm in the Middle is just like a little newer version of Roseanne. <laughs> Minus the racism. <laughs> <laughs> you got me there. I'll tune in. <laughs> no, okay. And then that's Brian Cranston right there, yeah, man. Yeah, oh when I realized that, I was like, damn, because yeah. you know, I'm going to break it back for now, dude. <laughs> We talked to DB. This is like this is like if Breaking Bad prequel, like way before he was I had no idea cancer or wanted to make meth or any of that shit. He was just Walter, a happy man. Walter White. Exactly. <laughs> he did his career White. right. Man, that's the greatest show in the world. I gotta rewatch that shit. I've been seeing it popping up a lot lately, so it's like Breaking I Bad. Be, yeah, I know. I I haven't watched El Camino because I want to like binge the series again and then watch it to like really know what's. I know? watch half of it. You're halfway through. I fell asleep on you know niggas. Oh, high. oh, Camino. I was high. Yeah, I, I got no. I watch all Breaking Bad. Like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I used to smoke a blunt, and watch an episode at night, and go to bed to that shit like a movie. Hour that was me, Narcos, night, dude. Nigga. I, I was like, out. no, I love that. I get fucked up every night, Shh, man. Ain't man. Breaking Bad was the most captivating shit I probably ever watched. Made my asshole quench so many times. You know the characters <sighs> are based off um, Reservoir Dogs. Jesse Pinkman, Walter White. There's like other characters that like represent the other the characters co- from oh, from Reservoir crazy. Dogs. That's like crazy. That's crazy. Way to even make me even more happy about it. I gotta <laughs> watch that shit. Yeah, no, Breaking Bad was the shit. You pass me that opener, please. I need to open up my drink here. Uh, you know, I just thought of like three more shows that I should have said. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. By the time it goes around, it's like, oh wait. Yeah, oh, I'm like, wait. I'm like, oh, I wait. fucked up so bad. <laughs> I'm like, oh wait. But they're not gonna say it. They won't be. Oh, Morgan, you need to go get some. Mm. So what's your, what's your new three? More convenient. You never said a third, technically, because you gave a cartoon. Oh, and then I so also... Sure. 
Uh, I I just have like ten. <laughs> <laughs> now you have, now you have too many. Like, okay. I'm like third rock from the sun. I freaking love third rock from the sun. And then um you know Mork and Mindy you know and then. <laughs> Mork and Mindy. Mork and Mindy yeah with. Robin Williams yeah. he's a, he's an alien from outer space. Mm. It's the television show from the seventies. Yeah. So, watch it, bro. Watch yeah. it, bro. All the other shit, fuck that. Watch that, bro. <laughs> fuck you, Roseanne. I'm watching more than Mindy. Mindy. Dude, no. I swear to God. More he falls in love Mindy. with, like, a human, and they get married, and then, like... Bro, don't spoil it. I mean, bro. I mean, the plot is already the out there, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the like, 70s. I mean, you know, like, they sell that shit it's, before. It's kind of spoiled. <laughs> That's not Star Wars or some shit, man. It's the 70s, I man. Right, yeah. I just started Star Wars. Speaking of... Dude. Woo. I got tickets to go on my birthday. We shed lit. a tear for the last one. I ain't get there yet. I'm on three. Dude, that's a great one. That's like man, Shakespeare I just, in man, space, bro. That shit started off right on time, like just going right at it, nigga. I finished two out the fucking like four nights, nigga. Dude, two is hard. Two's long and hard. Two's long. But you know what? As a kid, I liked it the most because there's all that Jedi in the end, that giant fight. I was like, dude, you, know, you never ne- see that in any movie. That shit movie. was fresh. I love to see that nigga Yoda go off. I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. Finally get to see this nigga go off. What are you going to do? They gave me like two and a half minutes. And I was like, oh, they fucking me. They fucking me raw right now. No Vaseline. You got to give me more than that, nigga. I wanted to, I wanted to bro, see him win. Keep, bro, if you on three, keep, keep I'm watching, going, bro. I'm going. This, the, keep this watching, a switch. bro. This is a switch. It's crazy because I know everything coming, but I'm still just... Just like, <gasps> but it's like adding up now. It's not just like fun facts on the internet. It's like, oh, that, that nigga, connects to that. When that nigga and, Mason oh, oh, oh. Windu sliced the, uh, what's his name? Faba, Faba Fat, Boba, J- Fett. Bo- Boba Fat Father's head off, nigga. Yeah. That was the best action Jango scene Fett. I've seen so far. Yeah, him. Yeah. That was the. I be looking for that raw action. You know what I'm saying? I they, they sliced that nigga. I was like, yeah, <laughs> finally, finally, <laughs> niggas getting sliced and diced. Nigga, I've been waiting to see a motherfucker get cut in half, nigga. Some of the greatest shit. And you saw when I posted that shit about yeah. part one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obi Wan and uh, dude, that's Darth the best. Maul that's fight. still the best fight. That fight was incredible, nigga. You know that- the actor they got to play um, Darth Maul. He wasn't doing the choreography that well. So they basically fired him, and the stunt choreographer that they just made him Darth Maul and gave him less lines. And that's why that shit looks so perfect is because it's like a pro, you know? Yeah. I... In the fight. It was beautiful. He's my favorite character. Darth Maul? He's my... And like, yeah, you that just mentioned sick. it. Yeah. <laughs> that feels sick. I love Darth Maul. Darth Maul I, I, was in, I, was in, I was in something like a show where I had to be like a demon or whatever. Yeah. And I was like in a fight scene or whatever, and yeah. I literally based my entire character... Off of Darth Maul. Nice. I was like, I was like, I'm Darth Maul's daughter. And I was like, he died. I must avenge my father. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I had a red face. Like, I had, like, yeah, this have backstory, like, man. Yeah, 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 I love it. Great character work over here. I was like, I was like, I'm no, no, no. Like, I, and, I, and I, and I won. I won. I avenged him. I avenged you, Darth Maul. <laughs> I'm Darth Maul's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Take that shit serious, nigga. I'm she like, really likes Darth Maul. I love it. Sorry. What were we talking about? Just kidding. We were talking about Star Wars, right? You yeah. No, yeah. No, we definitely were talking about Star Wars. I love the development of that nigga Anakin's character. That shit's been great. It's just been, it's been fresh. It's been fun. A lot of people don't like that actor. I, I like it. I love to like part two. Except for like the love scenes. Whenever yeah, it came no, to the cheesy <laughs> love scenes, I'm like... Ah, well, it's because it's weird. In one, he's like a, a kid. And yeah. then in the next one, he's just a full-grown full man. Full-grown man. Supposedly. He's fucking... And but she's <laughs> and she is literally yeah, the, just, she's literally the same age in both films. Yeah, it's just like all right. She, a, she must yeah. have her puberty already. Huh? I just realized all the Star Wars come out in December. That's very festive. They try to make sure they hit you at the end of the year, like nigga. This your gift. <laughs> you waited bitches. all year. Here's your gift. Here's all your gift. You've been waiting on this. Here it come. <clears throat> all those uh, pay cuts and. What do you think about shit. like how they add like new CGI into like that shit? Oh, it's a, you, the special editions? Just on Disney Plus. Well, they they Some did shit's that. Been they removed. did. Well, they did. They've Disney done that Plus. already. So George Lucas makes the it, after he made them on DVD, he made special editions where like he went back years later and like you know added CG parts even to four, five, and six. And people, yeah, see, that's what I'm talking people about, didn't yeah. like it, and so when Disney Plus came out, we thought we we're gonna get, get the OG version, but we got. The special editions. Yeah. So it's like, I kind of expected it because kids are going to be watching this shit. 
you know but i think practical effects look way better than cg like uh, totally i agree i love that shit i, I respect the work because you, yeah quality. you have to have way more imagination to figure out how to make it look real Doing than that shit fucking done. just like bloop, bloop, you know like jpeg image head blown off you know like fucking love it man that shit that's what that's what make me a, you know i'm all about jj abrams uh though for like when they did seven he kind of mixed it oh he took advantage of that shit yeah I mean, yeah he, he had some over. practical effects some og shit in there as well as the cg you know for the big scenes and stuff so jj got JJ, i think there needs to be a balance yeah. i think we should utilize that to make things that we could never do before like dude infinity war and shit like that it's crazy Infinity War pretty much all fucking CGI. Oh yeah, no, no, no. it's like it, that it, whole thing shot on a blue screen. Nigga. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, fuck the whole movie is a blue screen, nigga. Yeah. Like damn. I I feel like when they're in the city, they just blue screen it anyway. It's like fuck it's it. Still, yeah, yeah, still be fake. Might as well. I'd be like, damn, like when they when they did the whole fight scene, and uh, I think it was the one that uh the one where they all in New York and shit. And yeah. And shit. I thought that was really in the city. Fuck no. Green screen, blue screen. I'm like, Back lot. Did you ever go outdoors for this stage. movie? Uh, they just like, wanted to be No in natural one light, nigga. Yeah. All studio light. The whole film's good. But yeah. God damn, nigga. If I go out, don't... can I can just imagine how long it took to be like, all right, now this place changed all the lights to make it look real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, it would definitely be a whole different production. Yeah. A whole different kind. Yeah. They have like armies, right, on their sets. Hmm. So, if you look at like the set of like two thousand one Space Odyssey, like when they had to like make space look real before CG, oh man, crazy. dude, insane amount of people. Crazy man, you could you could the whole town could have jobs, man. Crazy. That shit. That's that's a that's a classic. That's a classic, right? That's there. a great one. That right motherfucker's a trip. It's a trip. I don't. You. I don't. They I don't, got a they got a Kubrick exhibit at the Skirt Ball. I want to see like I want to see what it's all about. Yeah. I mean, no. Probably going on my birthday, yeah. Before I go see fucking motherfucking Star Wars. Star Wars, yeah. Star Wars. A lot of people are haters, but, I, dude, I still get hyped. Star Wars. <laughs> Niggas just try to act like they original and shit. But they still <laughs> go buy the ticket. They still go, yeah. They still <laughs> right next to you. They still go to Disneyland and buy the blue milk. <laughs> and that's that shit B said to me the other day. Brandon, he was like, my fucking, uh, fuck how people feel. Like, nigga, I enjoy this shit. I'm gonna watch it because I enjoy it. Yo, like, nigga, I really I... didn't like eight though. I didn't like that one. It didn't make sense to me. Like when the spaceship, there's like spaceship blows up, and you think Leia's dead and she's not. She just like don't forced... tell me everything, nigga. I ain't even there yet. Bro, I mean, I know everything. Dumb. Fuck it's it. Dumb. Nigga, it's dumb. I'm what what is it? Yeah, it's dumb. dumb. Yeah. I'm telling you this because it's not good. It's yeah. not a good story arc. Okay, my bad. Because okay. you're gonna just be shocked and disappointed. Shit on me. And like. <laughs> You can't survive in space. That's never been a thing in Star Wars. And she just like survives and like floats to safety. She the motherfucking force though. <laughs> <laughs> you guys fucking hella serious, bro. <laughs> she the motherfucking force though. She the last force, nigga. Uh, she I the guess, last yeah. nigga with the force. Fuck that nigga. Yo, the dead. <laughs> Everybody got the motherfucking juice, nigga. Yo, the guy. Everybody <laughs> fucked up, nigga. Luke. Luke, fuck that nigga. He said the juice, but that made me think about the movie, The Juice. You got the juice now, Leia. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you got the juice Real now. Real shit, niggas in the elevator and shit. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> guess you got the juice now, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> that's Real the best shit. crossover <laughs> ever, Real bro. Shit. They, hey, that's... Whoever gets that lightsaber just oh, like, God, nigga, they should throw that the in juice, there. Yeah. <laughs> you throw this lightsaber to that nigga. That would be dope as fuck, nigga. <laughs> That shit, hey man. That Star Wars is a great universe. I was sleeping. I'm awoke now. I've been I've been asleep long enough. I disrespect. Next you gotta get into Star Trek, man. Nah, I ain't going that far down. Nah, bro, you gotta, yeah, bro. Good. There's a limit to everything. I'm really good. I'm good. Now when y'all Got niggas it. watch Snowfall, <laughs> I'll start watching something else. Snowfall. Well, I'm gonna need, yeah, exactly. Like me. Show, like the, me. Show, the, show the black community some love, baby. John Singleton's last TV. I like piece. Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> It was a good show. Shout out Atlanta, nigga. That's my shit. That was a really Season good show. Season four coming soon. Donald Glove out here giving niggas true inspiration. You know what I'm saying? We can do this shit too, baby. Whew. He's a beast, man. Love that kid. Love the Doing whole team all. behind him. Uh, uh, you see his stand-up? Huh? He did a stand-up special on Netflix. Yeah, that shit old. It was good, though. I'm yeah, the same. It was straight. It was You're like, straight. it was old, old news, bro. Yeah, <laughs> man. Cause you said it on Netflix like he Tiffany Haddish or some shit, nigga. Like, <laughs> hey, shit, I ain't see that shit on no billboard in the city, nigga. That shit. Like, My bad, bro. I'm fucking. 
<laughs> I'm fucking with it you. It was nah. good, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, but uh, Snowfall, man. Watch that shit, bro. That shit about like the uh, CIA, FBI involvement in cocaine and putting it in the hood and shit like that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It's on FX, man. Somebody Watch that, that shit. I highly recommend it. I think it's great. I think it'll really shine a light on the uh, black culture in the 80s. You know what I'm saying? Not like it's all about black culture, because it's also about the CIA and all that shit. It's about cocaine and how his involvement got in the hood, really. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just a storyline attached to a character, but it's a great story. It's a great show. I will check it out, man. Please do. It'll make me happy. Because I still ain't watched season three yet. I'm on you it, can, You can get that on Hulu? Hulu. Hulu. We out here doing promotion and shit. I'm gonna need to see a green banner on the bottom of the screen right now, nigga. Hulu. Let me get some how, of that many, money. how many things have we mentioned? That's uh, Disney money, nigga. <laughs> I need that Disney money. Put Actually, I do I know a girl I, who I just will, got promoted. I will take Congratulations anyone's money. <laughs> <laughs> on G, it know. don't gotta be Disney. It could be G, anyone. Nigga. You you trying to break Dude, bread. it could be uh, Papa Joe's, you know, fucking car wash. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Come down to PJ's car wash and get your car ready and go in five minutes. I promise. Eight ninety nine, eight ninety nine deal. <laughs> I'm trying to be Darth Maul's daughter. Dude, <laughs> you what you are. Them. You won, right? Was there a trophy involved? <laughs> so you don't win if there's no fucking trophy, dude. There yeah. was a trophy. Talk that's all. Darth, Darth Maul's head. No, not his head. Oh. <laughs> the person I fucked. Oh damn! Oh, you like chopping niggas' Sorry. heads off in real life fashion and shit. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were talking about you had a trophy with Darth Maul's head on it. Something pretty dope. Niggas is out here just shaking hands with no sanitizer, no nothing. I'm a, that's why you motherfuckers just walk around here sick. I'm going to just put that out there real quick. You, you know who's a giant germaphobe? Who? Howie Mandel. I love Oh, yeah, that nigga don't like people touching him on the show. Dude, Rob Schneider went up Poor to guy. him. <laughs> he didn't, like, I guess they told him backstage, don't touch, you know, don't shake his hand. Yeah. Dude, just like went up and just like grabbed his hand and all that shit. And then Howie Mandel's just there like, Staring at his own hand, like, what do I? Do? What what has happened? What's he done? <laughs> Just like, and then I guess a produce like someone comes out and gives him hand sanitizer, dude. And then and then he proceeds to put it on his head, on how Mandel said. I was okay. like, Jesus, dude. Okay, I feel like. Hmm. Okay, so I love Howie Mandel. So I do. I'm a very I'm an avid fan. Okay. I just feel like that's just a little bit extra. Don't yeah, feel like, no. I mean, like, totally was... just, like, put the hand sanitizer in your pocket. You know, you're good, man. I promise. He's good, right? Right? I don't Is know. Is he good? Every, everybody Are got, you good? Like Everybody dude. got their preference and got their limit, bro. I Rob Schneider shook my hand. I probably need some hand sanitizer. Wait, did he put it, wait, wait, did he put it on his own head? Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider put the hand sanitizer on. Howie Mandel's head. Oh, I heard the story different, and I was confused, and I take back a lot of what I just said. <laughs> a lot of what this I just said. I just take, take, take that breaking back. Breaking news, this is a whole new fucking story. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't, I don't fault that nigga. Stan's got a new slate. Okay? You, got, you a germaphobe, you a germaphobe. You don't like shit, you don't like, I'm, certain shit I don't like. I don't like shit, you know, I don't, yeah. certain shit don't want to touch me. I don't want to feel it. I don't, no. You know, that's like true. I, I'm definitely. I got preferences, preferences nigga. I don't I, want yeah. that I mean, shit. I'm Everyone not saying that you got to like, you know. Start smoking cigarette butts off the ground and shit, but you gotta have a little a little dirt never hurt, you know what I'm saying? Listen, <laughs> I've been uh, racking it off the ground, nigga. Okay, I had to do what I had to do. All right, real yeah. facts, nigga. Okay, but if it ain't necessary, <laughs> fuck that shit, nigga. I'm not <laughs> I'm eating nobody's germs, nigga. <laughs> nigga. My mama passed that shit down to me, nigga. I'm the type of nigga right. you hand a glass of water at your house and I'm expecting a cup. Like, let me see something floating in this. Nah, I'm mind. fucking nasty, dude. What's up, man? <laughs> oh, this nigga ain't washed it. You know what? I'm a. <clears throat> Yeah, just leave that. <laughs> we are. No, I'm, I'm hydrated, player. I had a whole bottle. The juice is great. I, even, I You see how much I drink? I die, nigga. <laughs> I die before I drink like, that walk shit. By the sink I'm no. like, no, no. I'm sorry. That's just me. I'll rewash a dish. Just because I don't trust some people washing. I'm just like, nope. <laughs> nah. What's that in between the fork? Mm-mm. Some people don't wash in between the forks. Like in between the mouthpieces. <laughs> I, I believe that's a vital Second area. Second New Year's resolution. Some people wash don't in do between your forks, guys. Wash Wipe every section hole. of the fork. And wash in between your forks. And the uh, handles of your forks. Pee and holes and forks, baby. Yeah, like all of it. The handles, too. It's, Some people don't do it's that. It's necessary, bro. I don't want to eat mac and cheese from three meals ago. Mac or cheese? Mac and <laughs> Mac and cheese. I don't want to eat anything from three meals ago. Me either. And that shouldn't have been soaked and sponge and all this shit with nasty yeah. shit. And then I got to eat that shit. Nah, nigga. You go. You take that shit back to Brooklyn when you found it and bury it. 
<laughs> You're taking it real personal, man. I'm oh, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, man. I'll, I'll wash them between the, the forks. Oh, no, the man. Fork. Real talk, though. You know, that's sorry. But I, see, that's why I go with I can't knock how we've been dealt. We all got preferences. We yeah. all got things that's vital to us. Yeah. And I ain't going to fault that, man. I'm not. Yeah, you you have your preference, and I love your preference, and I'm never going to shake your hand. <laughs> Me? What? Me? How you been dealt? Oh, how you been dealt? I was like, like I, first of all, I stopped masturbating. <laughs> So you ain't got to worry about that no more. What? Okay. Um, no fab season. <laughs> you wait, wait, lying ass thing? Wait, no, wait, wait. Is that a thing? Huh? Is that a thing? No, nah, for me, personally. For you personally. Yeah. All right, but wait. What, what did it? you just say, though? No fab. That's not a thing? I mean, oh, oh that, that, that phrase. Yeah. No fab. Oh, that's yeah, a like, phrase. Yeah, 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 yeah like no, no fab no, November, right? That was the thing. What? That's I don't the know thing. Yeah, right? Stop playing. Stop playing. It's a thing. Like, they call it no nut November, right? You're not supposed to I thought it was no shade, no shade November. November. Yeah, 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 no, but they got no nut November too. <laughs> Clearly, someone's on the dark. Web. In the comments, <laughs> defend me. There is no nut November. All right, I don't participate. Well, but I'm saying <laughs> it does. It, it's almost pouring all day, baby. Come on. It said the name. What did I say last it said time? The name. Remember, remember, I introduced myself. I was like, I jerk off every night. Every night, I respect your honesty. Dude, okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's for you. It's for you. You, you can function. Relief. Do that, bro. Do everyone that. lies, man. Everyone lies about Everyone that Everyone lies. But you know what? I'm a... Greta would tell you. I'm very... I was... <laughs> Ask her how many times she's like, seen Pornhub on my like, laptop. Greta would tell you. No, because she would open my laptop. I'm like, hey, might be Pornhub up on that motherfucker. I don't know. And sometimes she would actually close out a window and Pornhub window would pop up. And I'm like, I, I told you. I... Okay. It, was, it wasn't on purpose. I don't close my window sometimes. I just finish and I... I sure I shut the top. Nigga. You knock out instantly. But I, for real, I really, in the chair, just I really, I really had to cut it out. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah, saving up that that energy. You did. So go ahead. You, you gonna give it to someone special? Nah, it ain't Everyone's even nothing. Going just... back under my hat. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? These you are these say? are Chris, these are uh, New Year's resolutions, man. We're yeah. talking about that. I ain't telling niggas not to beat your yeet. If you gotta yerk your yeet, cause it's dry season out here for some people. You know, take care of your business. Do what you gotta do. Don't don't follow me. You know, uh, hey, did I tell you sell drugs? No. Hov did that. <laughs> you ain't gotta go through that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no. But if you, you know, sometimes cutting that shit out is a way to say that. And then when you if you do encounter a situation or you got somebody to get that year to, they get the full shit. Bang, bang, boing, boing, boogie, woogie. You know what I'm saying? And you, you know. <laughs> it's a whole process of personal thought behind it, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Facts. On God, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Don't get me wrong now. I ain't going to say it's no fat 365, 24-7 all days a year. Because I hit day 69 and, and just be like, I just need to get you on off. <laughs> ain't nothing coming through today. You know what I'm saying? But it's not, it's not in the routine no more. No, it's not. Like, yeah, it ain't like I wake up and I got the yard on and I'm like, let me take care of your business real quick. <laughs> I might get a little late. Tis the season, man. My back sleep out there. My nap, nap. My, you know, I got <laughs> woke up. Tis the season. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got to do what I got to do. But, you know, it is what it is. I used to be a chronic masturbator, nigga. Especially chronic. young nigga. Me and my cousins growing up. Niggas was beating on me all the time, nigga. All the time. Nigga. You got the, the new flip, nigga. You got them, you got them photos. You just go to the library and print, <laughs> yeah. off, print off black and white photos of nudes, nigga. <laughs> just be home sh- sh- killing my meat, nigga. Me getting... Sh- Scrape the fuck up. Hands dry as shit. Fuck no shit, nigga. Damn, I'm going ham, nigga. I'm going stupidity on my meat, nigga. I was a fool. <laughs> I, was a, I was a fool. I remember uh, fucking... I figured out that my PSP had a browser. And then I was like, oh, it's over. Oh, you know? nigga, look. It was over. I know that nigga. It was the, it was the beginning of the end, you know? ain't even own games no more. All he did was yerk the eat. Like, what I you playing? Oh, I'm watching. I, if you uh, if you ask to play a video game and it's like it tries to save and be like no 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 file, save no save file. <laughs> they saved all like, X videos on this shit. Nigga. That was the good shit. I used to have a PSP too when I was at AIT, nigga, and I had that bitch right in my side pocket. It was a nice screen, Sometimes man. Get hard. Dude, at that time, phones didn't even have that big of screens, bro. No, that shit was that a beautiful was, screen. Dude. It that was, was the shit. <laughs> with, yo, when I, I was such a porn addict, <laughs> I, I had an iPod full of porn when we when I went on deployment. Yeah, and smart. The, and the chicks smart came man. to me. The chicks, the girls, they yeah. came to me and was like, hey, we heard you got a serious porn collection. Let us get it. I was like, here, you can have this iPod. It got a bunch of porn on it. Yeah. We talking about, I'm talking about the 
256 gigabyte joint. The old big, the fat iPod. That yeah. motherfucker. I had that motherfucker. And that was like the first one you could watch videos on before yeah. the iPod Touch. And fucking, uh, they, they, the motherfuckers was like, this nigga got everything. He's a, <laughs> he's a cold freak. I was like, hey, I need variety. Some days I'm feeling, some days I'm feeling like some. Some days I'm feeling like something else. I'm going to take care of what I got to take care of what I got to take he care of. He has a very of. refined porn palette. Got to yeah. meet my standards, nigga. I was ruthless with it, nigga. You ever got caught beating your meat? I'm, th- I'm trying to remember. Like, seriously trying to remember. The women came to you? I think, yeah, I think it's, like, always a situation where, like, literally a second before it, it would have been cutting, I, I somehow, like, get myself back together. So I think I'm still O for O. I think so. I've, but never, like, I've never been busted. Like, the dick wasn't out. You, know? <laughs> you made but me say. You might have caught me here. You, you might have caught me exposed. You might have caught me, <laughs> caught me, <laughs> caught me <laughs> all sweaty no looking exposure. weird as fuck. Yeah, no exposure. With a fucking gun walk, in my pants. He's just walking away. Like, what? Yeah, oh, like. Uh, what's up? Oh, is your home? Oh, yeah. But it wasn't like. <laughs> I wasn't like like into it. And then someone's like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I heard them like coming. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> And they're like, what's up? What are you doing? I'm like, what are you doing? Hello, what are you doing? Just trying to tuck my dick in my waistband here. No big deal. What are you fucking doing? Dude, (laughs) these ones are dangerous. I'm just doing nothing. (laughs) These ones? Powder? Yeah, you're going to get a screenshot of me. Hey, get that semen on your mouth, baby. (laughs) (laughs) This is dangerous, man. I'm fucking with him. Yo, you ever got caught flicking the bean? Hey, we asking this question. It's an open field, baby. Yeah, what the fuck? It's EO. EO opportunity in here. We this is an equal opportunity program, baby. We we, we treat everybody the same. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you ever got busted? Dad ever walked in? <laughs> hey Greta, I got this new art set. Oh, oh my god! god. The art set. Not my <laughs> sheets. What did you just say? What are you doing with my shaving set? <laughs> oh my god. What? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. In answer to your question, no, I have never. Okay. <laughs> Dude, girls are slick with it, man. Mm-hmm. We're, we're just retarded, like, uh, you I see like, uh, Well, after hearing, this, uh, nigga. After, he- after hearing, oh, I'm addicted, I'm, I like, I was like addicted to it, I watch it all the time, I'd porn this, porn that, I beat, I'd bat, <laughs> like, I never did that, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I feel as if maybe it's like... Different, because like you said, you guys are just like, bleh, bleh, bleh. I'm not like, bleh, bleh, bleh. I'm well, like, you know, in, in, la, in, la, in la, a young la. male community. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> in a young male Dude, co- I went to Van Nuys High School. I went I, I went to with the porn capital of the world, high school. True that. This nigga Francis Dude, like, my tape. year, like, three kids in our class became porn stars. Damn. Damn. It's crazy. Three. Oh, dude, I'll send you links, bag. Three. <laughs> Did you? I, I do not have links. Please. <laughs> that nigga got a palette. I was about to be like, click it. I know this phone call, friends. On, nah, dude, on it's that. like fast food for me. I get it over with quick. Then I go back to what I'm doing. Wash up, get, go back to what I'm doing. I feel you. See, I used routine. to I used to get it like that. But some days I just get it like I got to go all day. Because I don't, I you know. take care of business. But then, but you know, I had to, you know, channel that. It's like brushing your teeth. You just got to get it out the way, you know? I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> but you know, but I'm gonna be real. If I yerk up my yeet too much, yum yum yams, you know, and s- slam the turkey net, and <laughs> let the balls go jingle, nigga. Oh my god. The, you know what I'm saying? If I do, if I do, if I do all that, like I, it, it, that shit, that shit take away. Like I could be out, I'll yerk my yeet twice in a day, and then I go out. And I'm trying to talk to a young lady or something, nice little woman, you know what I mean? She like And you're I, like, I'm just gonna go your later. Just like, <laughs> honestly, bitch, I got two nuts today. Like, <laughs> don't really need so to you're not, company. You're not like not what interested. Is it, is it like, se- sexually motivated. Cute, but I saw cuter on page seven of wow. Red Pornhub. So I'm gonna need you to go do better, okay? Like <laughs> I don't wanna be like that. You know so what the saying? porn ruins it for you. Kinda. Kinda. A lot of people say that. You know what I'm saying? For but me, it's like two different parts of my brain. No, you know, it is what it the is. The real thing's always better, dude. Always. Always, man. I'm, I'm a, I'm a I'm person. Not, I'm a person. I like porn, but I'm not like, you know, I'm not. Sorry, uh, you, you're not uh, 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 dressed like an anime uh, hentai. <laughs> so, you sound like the Simpsons. Uh, so I'm not, uh, not going to talk to you tonight. 
<laughs> you don't even have a tail. Like, no. Okay? Like, no, I'm not. <laughs> that's not about to fucking happen, dude. Yeah, I feel you. It ain't that serious. Yeah. But I, I did get caught, to, to backtrack a bit, I, caught, I got caught master baby once by my, <laughs> by my aunt, nigga. But I fucking, thought it would have been in the military. Nah, hell nah, nigga. I, come on, man. I was too smooth. Jerry Rice. <laughs> <laughs> I knew how to find him. I found a fuck, much. nigga. I'm going to do what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? But I got called by my aunt, nigga. Well, like, it was like fucking 20 of us in a fucking three-bedroom apartment, nigga. Mm-hmm. And fucking me and my cousin sleep in the living room and shit. Niggas sleeping everywhere, nigga. In the hallway or everything, nigga. And fucking, uh... I'm, we fucking, you know... America, let's be honest here. Let's just keep it real. Niggas used to have the, the, the group circle sesh. Not saying niggas jerking and looking at each other no shit like that, but it's like, put that flicker on, find your content. corner. Find your corner, don't look at me. Do my business, I'm going to sleep. Isn't that I like the rules bu- in a porno theater? I did my business, nigga, and I fell asleep. I'm so glad we're having this discussion. Exposed. I, need I to fell get all asleep this out. wide open, nigga. Nobody covered me. Nobody. My, my truth. <laughs> My, my no, you got like pillows separating you. Like, you look that yeah. way, you look that way. No, my comrades I know what you're talking about, but I have not experienced nigga. that. My aunt was the fr- oh, so you have been exposed. No, I haven't experienced that. Uh, I, yeah. I haven't done the group. Uh, no, but no, no. It was, I ain't saying like we was nigga. Look, don't make it. I'm like not that. saying that. Okay, don't make there was like never that. been an instant where like there was that. someone watching the same shit I was watching. <laughs> yeah, there's never not for me at least. It's cool though. It's my cousins. It's cool though. Young niggas coming up. We gotta do. We gotta do. Showtime only showing this flick for an hour, 30 yeah, minutes. Yeah, it, it was before, like, oh, I could just put it on my we, phone yeah, in the bathroom, it was, yeah. It was before that. We ain't got no hard copies <laughs> yeah. at the time. So it's like, this Gather shit around. popping. This shit popping. Get away from me, nigga. <laughs> 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 nigga, do my bit. As I did my biz, nigga, and my aunt woke up super early and shit, right? Good and word. she came on, and I guess she busted me, nigga. She saw me exposed, nigga. I was there. Young yeeter in hand, nigga. Just exposed. Evidence everywhere, nigga. Holy all shit. the all the Oreo filler. So <laughs> she, she caught you. She caught me, nigga. But I guess she covered me up and whatnot. And I woke up, and she's like, "Come here, Tony. Come in. Come in. Come in the room." I'm like, "What the fuck? She want with me? Why, why she sound so demanding? It's so scary." And she's like, "Well, it's too early for all that." So aggressive, yeah. Like, like, what did I do? Like, what did I do? Like, what what did I do? like damn. What did I do? I ain't, I ain't buddy your shit. But she like, she got to go in the room and shit. She's like. Why you out there with your little thing exposed? Out there, and you out there, and you know your cousins didn't wake up and see you like that. Why you out there like that with your thing out? Don't be out there doing that. You know you living with all them curls in here. And I was like, I, I ain't even know. I ain't even know. I thought I was good. I woke up, I was fun. I'm like, I ain't even know. Like, I'm straight. I mean, I'm like 16 at this time, right? Oh. I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, what do you want? What do you want from me? Like, like what? So I'm laughing at this shit low yeah. key because it's like, I'm I'm becoming a man. Like, like, what do you want from me? Like, why you making it seem like I shot the prison or some me? shit? Like, I assassinated Abe Lincoln or some shit the internet. Like, or I something. wanted him to see. Yeah, she just in my I'm going to tell your mother. I'm telling everything. You gonna get? I'm letting her know. I'm like, oh, she know I did. Did she? Did she end up telling your yeah, mom? Yeah, she told my mom. Oh, mama, oh, mama, dude. Mama, like, what? What the hell are you out there with your thing out for? I'm just like, mom, I ain't, you know, I fell asleep. Oh, I got my yocks. My rocks was skid, skid, skedaddled, and I napped the fuck out of me oh, leaving after. God. Obviously, I had a long day. Okay, <laughs> I mean, I'm young, but I do have a long day. I'm doing a lot. I'm in after school activities. Yeah, I'm in, you know, I'm, hey, I, got, I got all these emotions. I'm tired, yeah, we living in this fucking place. Now. Like, thank you, but damn, we tight as nuts in this motherfucker. Like, God damn, nigga, what do you want? I'm stressed. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. I bust a nut, I go to sleep. I'm tired of this shit. I done had it now. 16 years of this shit, I'm tired, mama. <laughs> I can't take it no more. <laughs> you blew up on your mom like that? Hell no. Nah, oh, no. Oh. I'm just piggybacking off of her saying nigga stressed this shit. <laughs> nigga just nigga fucked out a situation at the moment, nigga. I was I was upset. I was upset. That's how I took care of my frustration. I yerked it out. Yeah. I left it in my hand. <laughs> left. Clean it in the morning. I wake up and I take care of it. Maybe I get it on the inside of my box and if I had a sock on, I put it on that. Did yeah. you forget to set your alarm? Hell no, nah. you got you 17 no niggas waking alarm. up in a goddamn house. You don't need no fucking alarm. <laughs> oh, walking right past your goddamn head. Oh, shit. Get up, y'all! 
It's 7 a.m. Ain't nobody else. You're like, God damn it. You can't get no sleep in this motherfucker. Then you got that one family member that got to play church music, loud as shit. Yeah, hey, amen, Lord. It's like, nigga, if I could get 15 more minutes, I don't have to be up the same time as everybody else. Why I got to be, bro? Shit was, shit was real. <coughs> but you know, it make you appreciate now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know, so I don't take none of that shit back, man. Good times. And the cherry on top was my grandmother was the was the the circle of all of it. And nice. she was disabled. Mm. No legs, missing like two fingers, vision bad as fuck, nigga. So some nights I just sleep on the floor next to her goddamn bed, nigga. And just wake up and change her and shit, all this shit. Blah, blah, blah. Go get a water. Miss you, Feeney. Rest in love. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it's good times, man. Wanna take none of that shit back. Just Holy man. shit, time don't wait for no man, do it. That motherfucker just keep going whether you gonna move or not. It's gonna keep on moving and you better jump on the train. It's goddamn this bitch don't got no love for nobody. No it way. do not discriminate. Mm-hmm. Whether care about your age, your race, your gender, your sexuality, your beliefs, none of that. Time do not discriminate. This motherfucker's gonna continue to do his thing. Finds us all. And <laughs> time. And we keep coming back to that word. That word and that concept. Time, man. Time, man. You touched on that shit. She knows my name. She keeps me up at night. We get up. <laughs> man, she knows everything, bro. She's the all-seeing ruler at the, at the end of the day. Time, bro. Because she knows all of, she knows all the history. It's all the story. When we here, when we gone, Tom knows everything in reality. But what has been your favorite part of this time of 2019 2019 I think uh developing the brand and getting the website going and I think that was like another step I've been doing the band for a couple of years now and I've been it so this was like a new venture for me so it kind of sticks out you know I felt like I it was it was time to grind this year and next year's gonna be really dope absolutely I already said you started early Mm-hmm. It's in a name, Mark Hammond, twenty twenty. <laughs> that nigga we got blueprints like for like years down the line. <laughs> there you go, ready, like Kevin Hart shit. That's dope. What about you, Gretz? What about me? It's been your highlight of twenty nineteen. Man, there's been so many highlights. Uh, honestly, it's hard to pinpoint. Well, goddamn, mm-hmm. shit. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's dope. No, yeah, I mean, it's just, like, been, like, a constant, like you said, like, grind. Been, like, trying to hit everything, and I definitely have. I mean, I have friends. We're doing, like, awesome, and we're coming with great, awesome things for, like, 2020, you know? Mm, mm, mm. For so, 2020, what? Yeah. For 2020. Yeah, and I, and I started I started working with, um, with uh, one of our friends. You Ronnie, guys know her. Ronnie Gay. Mm-hmm. You know, click the link. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, links, links, links. But yeah, a lot of things are taking off with that. And if you want to know anything about that, you can catch up with that on my page. But um, yeah, so that's been my highlights. And then 2020 is like a new, big, amazing thing that's coming. And <laughs> I'm so excited for it. Like everything is just going in such great directions with everyone that I've come in contact with. Nice. And yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful, the growth, the experiences, man. It's, it's been fucking fabulous, man. It's definitely a year to remember, man, you know? Probably my my first year of true depression and shit, actually experiencing that shit, mm. knowing that shit is uh, something to be aware of. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't, we ain't giving in to depression. We are not promoting that shit. We ain't saying, oh, yeah, uh, be depressed. It's cool. We ain't promoting that shit. Nah, you got, the first thing no. is talking about it. Oh, be aware, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Be aware, address that shit, yeah. and, and take care of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I am I pride myself on being a strong-minded and strong-willed person, but I'm only fucking human. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Had some experiences that wasn't the best that drove me down, you know what I'm saying, places I didn't think I'd ever be mentally, you know what I'm saying? And mm. lost, a, lost a, a woman I thought was going to be around for a long time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it was a great learning experience. Mm. A lot of discoveries within myself. Got the greatest team in the fucking world. Like, nigga, it's facts. <laughs> you know what I'm learning saying? Learning experience. 2019, like you said, it's definitely been a Dude, really big learning, learning experience. Learning experiences, yeah. man. And just and just it, learning, learning to... I think the biggest thing I learned personally, man, is just learning to embrace and, and allow others. Yeah, appreciate your flaws too. You know? Because you learn from them and shit. Of course. 
That's what I say. Lessons. Yeah. We don't take losses. Only lessons. You know what I'm saying? That's what we call L's. But just, you know, learning to allow, man. And, and, and that's what this shit is all about. Allowing people like yourself, everybody we come into contact yeah. with. Yeah, giving it is all of it. To too. have they, they, they shine a moment. You know what I, I mean? I feel that shit for real. And, 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 and Brandon and Greta, you know what I'm saying? Allowing them to, to have a creative imprint and shit like that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Did. Learning for me to step back, you know what I'm saying, and it's a, it's a total group effort and just appreciating, man. Just learning to appreciate more. I really think I learned to appreciate this year. Yeah, no, it's all coming together, man. <laughs> it is, bro. I've been so grateful for the year and the lessons. Now we on a big and better, baby. 2020. 2020. 2020. 2020. You know what I say. We've been in 2020 for the last two weeks, low key. Maybe, 2020. maybe like three <laughs> weeks. You know, we just, it's been four. a minute. But we, 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 we'll come to your New Year's party, but we already celebrated. Oh, dude, yeah. we, we, come in, we just coming to celebrate. For 2019 the, for the, for was the just like face. blueprint for 2020. Ooh, you know? yeah. I love you keep saying that word blueprint. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. I, I, I put on all my clothes, uh, uh, established 2020. Because that's really when the, the real collection is dropping. You so know? niggas is getting collector's items right now. Basically, yeah. You got that stamp that shows I had this in 2019. You yeah, no, they're all going to they have, have different tags now. So all the old tags, you know. It's like that one-on-one and shit. Early supporter shit. Mogul shit. I love that shit. It'd be dope, man. Yeah. My dog is, is on one, man. Look at this growth, man. It's growth, man. It's been a while. I don't even know. <laughs> three years, man? Yeah, dude. Going on three years, 2020. So shit, yeah, almost three years, motherfucker. This growth, baby. Let's Watch see what you five grow, do. Man. Let's see what ten do. Oh, hey, oh. I'm, I'm all about it. Yeah. That's what I. Hey, what's we'll that word? There. Time. We'll see you time. there. I see what that time. Do. <laughs> what you gonna do with that time? <laughs> you got all this time, everything, baby. You, you know, hey, ain't no right. telling what's coming. You know, we ain't speaking none, nothing like that in no nature. You know what I'm saying? Because it's all about prosperity and moving forward and keeping an eye towards the future. But as we embrace the present, you know what I'm saying? Let's just let's just be. Just be aware and, and embrace the time we have and, and treat every moment like it's the last, if we can, you know what I'm saying? And just don't wait till some tragic shit happen for you to go, oh, I got to I gotta live my life to the limits now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Fuck that. I don't want to wait to fucking discover a tumor, brain yeah, cancer, some shit like that. Learn from others' falls, you know, so you don't got to fall. Do this shit now. Yeah. All I know is this. All I know is one, mm. I hate when we think to even think about it, but it's a harsh reality, you know what I'm saying? So while I got this, I'm going to enjoy all of you motherfuckers right now because you hey. all have helped make my 2019, my life, mm. period, just yes. better. You know what I'm saying? In some way, form, or fashion, everyone has. And I appreciate you all. I just want to say that. You know what mm. I mean? Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank 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 you. A million fucking times, man. Hey. Can't do this shit alone, man. It's a group effort in everything I do. You know what I'm saying? I'm just the I'm just the source. Oh <laughs> my gosh, Anthony! I mean? Anthony is incredible. Yes, it's a group effort, but thank you for. Yeah, man, you're humble like, as fuck. This is, <laughs> no. None of us, none of us are without each other, and like especially none of us are without you. You know, and uh, all this, all this has been. It's like learn, you know, be kind and be thankful and grateful, and just like keep pushing and like pulling because. It's like, you know where you're going, and I'm like, I'm going to see you guys there. You know what I mean? Facts. Uh, <laughs> so, I, like, it's just, you're, you're, all the presence is great. Thank you. I love you guys. The presence Happy is holidays. Present. Happy fucking holidays, yeah. man. But we've had a good time today. This has been a fabulous time, Mark. It's been a fucking pleasure. Thank you. Having you come out, my guy. You yeah, know what I'm saying? thank you so much. That, that As time, always. Thank you for uh, making us aware of it. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for, for being you, man. Thank you for the art you've blessed us with in 2019. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of High Unplugged. Couldn't do mm. it without you. Pretty sure we're going to see some more collaborations between us oh, in yeah. the future. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, who knows? Just keep your eyes peeled like an onion. You know what I mean? But, uh. Whispers. Any 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 last words for us, man? Anything you'd like to get to the people? Yeah. Anything you uh, want any them to know? What's coming? Almost pouring. Yeah. Um, I'd like to say, uh, First off, thank you guys always uh, being able to collaborate with you guys and do different things thank and, you. you know, be a part of the High from Friends family, just popping in and out and always just like giving it a new take and it's fun. Thank you, man. And I'm always down to see like what's next, you know, what's next and what's the next format, what's the next thing we're going to hit, you know? Yeah. So 2020 is going to be sick. And um, 
everyone at home, just fucking enjoy your family. Whether uh, they're annoying or not, or you love them to death, or just, like, appreciate who's there, blood or not. Facts. Real talk right there, man. Yeah. And wipe you. your pee hole. Yeah. <laughs> wipe your, your pee hole. I love you, brother. Greta, any party words before we get out of here before the last time of 2019? Happy, Something to say? Happy holidays. I'm high from friends, and um, we look forward to more. And keep going, and keep checking back, because... We're here, you're here, you're going, we're going. See you there. <laughs> Damn Skippy, straight to the top, baby. Nowhere else to go, because we done been to the bottom, and I got to go up from here. You dig what I'm talking about? I but uh, I love you, man. I love you guys. Thank love you. you thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to the viewers, man. Thank you to the listeners, man. We can't do this without you. Thank you. Just look out for more content. Look out for everything, man. We coming, man. We 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 links, 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 more links, events, links. baby. Let's get more personal. Let's hang out. Let's come get high with us. Come have a good time, man. It's gonna be crazy. I promise you. I'm playing with my nipples right now. I don't even know why. But I'm doing this on camera and they got to squeeze my nipple. That's just some some shit right That's there. That's just how excited he I'm is. I'm excited. <laughs> so I'll talk about We're the really... future. And everything gets popping, nigga. But we love you guys, Mark. Thank you. Thank Shout you. out to Almost, Almost Porn. Almost Shout out, Owen, Shout out to my hand, boys. Man. Can't wait to see what the future holds for you guys. Can't wait for the new art. Greta, I love you. I love you. I love you. People at love home, you I love you. You guys are fucking incredible. Oh, Brandon, I love you. I love you too. He's not on camera. He'll never be on camera probably, but hey, he knows. Hey, man, you never know. You never know. We might never catch know. that nigga in the bathroom wiping his pee hole. 2020. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> and on that note, I say it's all good, it's cause all it's good. all good. Hey, <laughs> see you next year, guys. 2020 shit. Be safe. Be happy. Enjoy your New Year's, man. Make sure your resolutions come true. Make it more than words. We love you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Bye, bye, bye.